Greetings weary travelers. You are invited in the name of Mylita, to enter my holy temple. It is within the walls of my chamber, that you will be given the opportunity to rise to your higher self, but first you must be tested on three levels. First, your mind power, or mantra, shall be tested through your ability to hold an intelligent conversation. This is engaging in mind sex. Next, your will power, or yantra, shall be tested through the ancient art of seduction and foreplay. This is spiritual sex. And finally, your body power, or tantra, shall be tested by engaging in physical sexual intercourse. If you properly pass these three trials, you will have successfully risen the sleeping serpent of kundalini energy, from your root chakra at the base of your spine, passing all seven chakras, and opening up the seven seals, all the way up to your crown chakra, where your third eye will be opened, and you will experience a divine awakening, the force awakens, as the energy manifests itself through the orgasmic experience. At this point, you will experience Christ consciousness. The Holy Child Christ is a metaphor for the product of the sacred union, the hierogamos, the sacred marriage, the sacred sex between the divine male and female principles. In the Far East, this process takes on different symbolic representations, such as the balancing of the yin and yang energy, or uniting Shiva and Shakti. The power that can be obtained through this sacred art includes the ability to live longer and look younger, as well as being able to astral project into the etheric realm, awaken your dormant extraterrestrial DNA, heal thyself through sexual healing, and manifest whatever you focus on. However, this sacred art cannot be performed by just anyone, and it cannot be obtained through just sex. This sacred art can only be performed and taught by a sacred sex priestess called a Kadesha. The word Kadesha appears in your Hebrew Bible, and is translated as meaning prostitute, but in fact it means, holy woman. This is why it is believed that Mary Magdalene was a prostitute when in fact she was the Bride of Christ. In ancient times, what you now know as prostitutes were in fact priestesses. This is why they say that prostitution is the world's oldest profession. In your modern new age, these sacred sex priestesses have been given a variety of crude titles including sacred prostitutes, temple whores, and sexual shamans. But these modern titles are rather disparaging terms for sexual rituals consisting of activities performed in the context of religious worship, fertility rites, and divine marriage. For millenniums, men have conspired to disparage the sex priestesses because it is through our sex that we are able to control men. This is true sex magic, black girl magic. The reality is that strip clubs are temples where young women use their sexual power to control men as they are liberated to take back their power from men. The men become entranced by the beautiful curves of the sex priestess, while she is steadily whipping that work. Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? The Kadesha sex priestess can use her power to heal or to kill. But as a man, you can only surrender to it, and whatever happens, or does not happen, happens. This is the most fundamental act of worship. All of the goddesses of sexuality, love, fertility, and beauty have had this power to control men. From Inanap, to Ishtar, to Isis, to Aphrodite, to Hathor, to Oshun, to the succubus Lilith, Nama, and Agrat Batmalat. The story of one of the earliest Kadesha sex priestesses is contained within your mythology about Medusa. In reality, Medusa was an African woman with a head full of dread-locked hair, around which she wore a golden crown shaped like a snake symbolizing the Kundalini serpent. As men would come into her temple, she would make them worship her yoni, and she was a skilled snake charmer, she would perform lingam worship. Medusa would turn the men to stone, get them rock hard, and then have her way with them. Another story of a Kadesha sex priestesses is the story of Zara and the angels Harut and Marut. Zara was a beautiful young woman whose name comes from the word, Zora, meaning blooming, radiance, and splendor, and is cognate with the word Zohar, the foundation of the Jewish Kabbalah mystical thought. One day, when the two angels named Harut and Marut came to earth, Zara was able to seduce them with her beauty and get them to give her the secret password which enabled her to enter directly into the kingdom of the Most High, and ascend to become a celestial heavenly body in the sky and live forever. This is the secret key to eternal life, 
symbolized by the Ankh, an ancient symbol of the unification of the male and female principles, 